Okay, are we live? Hey guys, this is Bobby Clue with the Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. We're back at it again for another one of our virtual ribbon cuttings. I am in the heart of our downtown right now. I'm on Ogden Street heading right into our, our downtown. I'm here with Dustin Scott, Hello. one of the owners of Shiner's Barbershop and uh, personal, personal favorite of mine, actually, my beard guy right here so uh very excited to have an opportunity to come down and and recognize you guys as a new business and, and and do a ribbon cutting with you guys today so dustin thanks for taking the time thank y'all for being out here so uh you know i love a good origin story mm -hmm. and i love to always ask people like this how did you get into barbering well uh before I before I stepped into barbering, I was I sold cars for for a, for a good little bit, and I always enjoyed like the the banter side of things, getting to know people, helping people, just having fun. But then I just also didn't like asking for that big of money from people. So right. So I always knew I wanted to do something in the service industry because I you like, like people. I enjoy people. I love yep. people. So this was a this was a good setting and had some friends that were doing it about the same time so and so you went to uh did you go through campbellsville yes, university yes, i was one in the first first 10 students there. were you really yeah well, that's neat yeah <laughs> that's pretty cool because you know that's a huge program i yeah, mean they very much they have a lot of cosmetology and and barbering mm -hmm. students that, that come through that program you're one of the first 10. yes how neat yeah. well so i know that you know you you uh worked for uh, a couple people here in town yes. and then how long has shiners been here in 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 uh, this is this classified as Vortex Corner yes, right here. Yes, Vortex Corner. So, so we, to give everybody this kind of a frame of reference of where Shiners is located, so come down Ogden Street, past ba Baxter's, coming into our downtown, and if you remember where Friends Sports Bar and Grill, and this used to be the old Video Palace right here. So a ton of history <laughs> in this space right here, but we are right on the side. Uh, of the highway right here in the old video palace is yes. where you're at and and this where friends uh was is now going to be big city pizza yes we're so excited for them yeah so this is going to be a really very it's gonna be a very popular little area right yes. here that you're in it's gonna be and, awesome. and it should be you know it used to be when mm -hmm. when you know when i was a little kid you know this whole area down through here was packed you know with businesses mm -hmm. and it was you know where you went and it's great to see that you've kind of repurposed the the video palace and you've made it into a barber shop and it's a cool barber shop so thank you, thank tell you. us about kind of the new age concept that you have here where it's not just a barber shop it's more of a destination right we uh well we wanted to kind of have like the traditional values in, in old school shops just the you know hot towel shaves just the just the the people aspect because you know back kind of older they used to just hang out have a good time stuff like that so we wanted to kind of bring that but we also wanted to bring some modern modernness to it of being able to do some more of the more uh modern haircuts more modern necessities just sure. try to try to mash both of them together so kind of old meets new a exactly, little bit exactly well uh dustin can we go inside Absolutely. can we take a look yeah. at the shop here you go in i'll follow you you oh, go I ahead gotcha, please gotcha. thank you let's go in so, you know, as you can see, it's hard to imagine that this actually was ever Video <laughs> Palace, in we, all honesty. It's, we did a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's cool. You've got, you've got the exposed brick. You've got the old school chairs, yes. which I think are really cool. You know, you didn't go with something brand new. You've got something that's yeah. got a little, that probably tells a story. Exactly. These are all 1955s. Uh, 1955. Yes, and these two here are actually like sister chairs. Uh -huh. They were uh, serial numbers one away from each other, and they've been together since 1955. Well, you can't ever break that set Absolutely up right there. Not. We're, you know? we're extremely happy to have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and what I like about kind of this, 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 maybe it's a, this new concept of a barber shop is where you have, you know, these fantastic services that you provide but you also are providing almost an atmosphere where people can come in they can relax a little bit it, it's not like you're bringing them in the door and then trying to push them right out the door when they're done exactly. you've got pool foosball i mean did i did i possibly see a dart pool? yeah yeah we've got a there's dart board a dart board, board over there. there you know there's music and there's vending machines and there's all sorts of things here we'll move over here a little bit uh there's all sorts of uh accommodations to just make 
someone feel at home. So if they're coming in here to get their hair cut and they've got their kiddos with them, those kids are probably going to gravitate towards that pool table over there. Yeah, you know, do that or that foosball table. How, that. Did you? Was that something that you guys thought about? Was that just a concept you all like? I know uh, Larry here in town. You know, yeah. he's got some fun things like that, but you don't see a lot of this. Yeah, we. Uh, well, that's actually that's where I worked at when I first got out of barber school. So I think I think Larry for showing me a lot of that. Sure. You know, uh, teaching me kind of what what how the business works and stuff like that. So we wanted the pool table, foosball table, and we're, and we're still working on some other things to give it more, for kids to have more fun. Sure. Uh, because I know, you know, if a kid ain't feeling comfortable in here when they're here, they're not gonna, they're gonna hate this chair. Right. So that way parents aren't stressing the whole time their kids are getting a haircut, we can make it fun for them. And that way they enjoy their haircut. So it makes it easier for the parent to bring their kids back. So, so. I, I guess the most important thing, and in case anybody missed it outside, services yes so tell me about the service. so you do kids all the way through adults yes men i'm assuming only yeah, uh, ma majority uh, majority we do, we do we have a lot of women class that have like shorter hair uh -huh. like, the, like the undercuts and designs and stuff like that we kind of specialize and in and, that and tell me about some of the things you do so for instance i come here to trim you guys take care of my beard yeah but i mean you guys can do the straight razor shaves yes. i mean what do you guys so of course we have we have our standard haircuts they start about 20. uh we kind of go up from there of doing like a deluxe package where you can get the shampoo uh and of course our beard treatments we have two different styles of beard treatments from our standard to our deluxe deluxe comes with hot towels and all the beard oils and stuff like that to really style it mm -hmm. and then we go up all the way to where we have a kind of like our signature in-house special and we call it the black eye special uh, and what that is, is it's a haircut, shampoo, scalp treatment, uh, beard trim if you have it, or full face shave if you don't. Oh, wow. uh, if you have a beard, we do um, beard treatments uh, to really straighten out and really soften it up, makes it look good. Uh, we do a three part facial on it to get the skin all on the oh, face. Wow. Pretty much we take care of from, from the shoulder up to the top of the head, we take care of it all. So Wow. Yeah. That is, that's neat. So. You know, the way I look at something like that is that sounds like a really neat gift, you know, for Father's Day. Absolutely. So I'm going to put a plug out there right now, <laughs> you know, for any ladies that might be looking for a last minute gift for Father's Day. Yes. Uh, that sounds great, this black eye special, because, you, you know, you can make an hour. How, how long does that it's about take? about an hour and a half. I mean, what a great hour. You know, I mean, I know that for Mother's Day, you know, my wife wanted uh, a gift certificate for a massage. Yes. That wouldn't be my thing, but the, that right there, that right. would be awesome. Yeah, and that's what a lot of, they give for a lot of gifts, or if men are getting married, mm -hmm. you know, it just kind of takes care of everything. It makes them look good. A lot of guys don't really get a lot of time to just sit down and do mm -hmm. nothing and be pampered for a minute, so we try to do it to kind of give something different. It almost feels like this would be a cool place if you were going to get married and you wanted to bring your entire you know group of you know yep. groomsmen in mm -hmm. and just have like you know a, a little couple, party yeah like just a couple hours just together to goof around yeah. and get 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 cleaned up and ready to go i mean yeah. this would be awesome to do that we've had several do that does that okay mm -hmm. well good i'm glad i'm not <laughs> shooting in the dark there um so you guys uh you've got all the traditional stuff you've incorporated in you know the old versus new we talked yeah. about um what else is there any plans for expansion into the future i know that you've got some other gentlemen over here if you want to introduce yeah, uh, any uh, anybody here that's that's uh on staff with yeah, you yeah i got so we uh so it started out with me and my business partner is not here with sure us. austin yeah austin mullins uh we started here with two of us it's just me and him and now we've actually went up uh starting monday with our fifth so we're oh wow for that. so this is jerry calder uh he's been our most recent before our fifth uh, right on. and he's actually austin's brother as well oh so wow okay so a little family in the business uh um, that's cool he's been with us for now what since january yeah, january 13th january 13th and doing awesome and yeah, then we got that's cool we got brian we call him b hood uh b hood's awesome he's been with us about a year now we're getting we're coming up on that year mark uh, it's been been a blessing to have them. We've been so excited. And you've got and another he, yes person starting our, on, on Mon Monday. Monday. Yeah, our fifth. His name is Bailey Spoonamore. Okay. Uh, he's just out of out of barber school. He'll be an apprentice here. So. So do you have some room to expand still? You feel like? Yeah, we. Uh, you know, of course that'll be up at five. What we what we plan on probably stopping here is about eight. Uh -huh. We don't want to make it like a haircut factory. So many people in here. So sure. That way we have the room for the atmosphere and everybody still have fun. But we can. Yeah. Because, you know, the, you know the atmosphere is half the fun, you know, with Absolutely. anywhere you go. I mean, 
I, I remember going and getting haircuts when I was a kid, and it was, you know, it was an old school kind of in and out, you know, kind of feel to it. it it's, it's a unique feel for me, and I love the feel of just a barber shop. You know, I think there's something about it, but I enjoy seeing all the 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 accommodations, and it's 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 a feeling where, you know, hey, take your time. You know, you don't have to leave. Take take your time. Stay for a minute. Yeah. I, I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. And we kind of with that we. We're not just a walk-in barbershop, we do appointments like that. So our, instead of being the, the kind of walk-in, get you in, get you out style, you know, that, there's a business for that. But we, we try to stick to our appointments, really, if you book that 30 minutes, that's your 30 minutes. We want to give you everything we can in that 30 minutes. Well, and that's maybe another, you know, twist to the, the 21st century, you know, barber, too, is that, you know, I mean, it's, you don't even really call. You go online. Mm -hmm. You find your services that you want. You select those. Yep. You book your time with your, you know, barber, mm -hmm. and you lock that in. And you get emails, text messages. I mean, you get all the stuff. Yep. It's it's really it's pretty sophisticated. Yeah, it's hard to, to miss an appointment. <laughs> we try to make it you know super easy, super flexible for everybody. And we're mm -hmm. actually about to. Here in the next month, uh, push out our new app. We're getting our own Shiners app. That's that you cool. Can download and do your appointments and stuff like that from there. Oh, very cool. Uh, well, uh, if I missed anything, you know, we've Not talked, right. we've covered a lot of a <laughs> lot of ground. Um, do you have an event coming yeah, up? Yeah, uh, we uh, we like to throw. You know, me and Austin, we played music for years together, so we yeah. like to throw the little little shows here and there. So we're actually throwing a pretty. Uh, Pretty punk hardcore show in here tomorrow. You're doing a punk show in it's, here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> what we, uh, time? Uh, it'd be seven o'clock. That's when the doors open. Seven bucks at the door. It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. We get that's we, we awesome. Pack this place out. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, it's so a, it's a good time. So see, and that's again, you know, that's kind of a re. Uh, I you know you don't think about your your traditional barber right. having a punk show after <laughs> yeah. hours. You know, that's cool, Dustin. I mean, I like that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, so one thing we always like to talk about is the importance of shopping local. Yeah, and absolutely. that is goes all the way down to right here. Uh, it's so important to support these guys, their products. Come in and support these guys. You know, these are people that are in our neighborhoods. You see them, uh, and, and it's important. You know, if you're looking for those Father's Day gifts, you don't have to go to Amazon. You know, that black eye special sounds amazing. There's very few men that would turn that down. That sounds amazing. So these are the kind of things we want to encourage you to do is to continue to, to support our local businesses. Dustin, thanks a lot well, for taking the time. I will also say thank you for being a chamber member. I know you don't have to be, and the fact that you <laughs> chose to be is important, and I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate it. So thank you. So, guys, uh, stay tuned. Very shortly, next week, another virtual ribbon cutting. So until then, enjoy this weather and uh, we'll